Hello my darlings. For this series we are doing Paddington Bear. There he is. I love Paddington Bear. So we're going to have, there are only short stories, so it'll be eight short stories of Paddington Bear. And then we're going to jump into another longer book that will be broken down into little pieces. Okay? So I hope you enjoy this as much as I do. I love Paddington. And this one is called Paddington at the Palace. I think Paddington might be going on a journey that we're waiting to be able to do. Can't find it on the page. One morning, Paddington and Mr. Groover set out to see the changing of the guard at Buckingham Palace. Mr. Groover took his camera, Paddington took a flag on a stick in case he saw the Queen, and they both sat on the front seat of the bus so that they could see all the places of interest on the way. Beth loves London, but it's very busy. The bus took them most of the way, then they had to walk through St. James's Park. It was a lovely sunny morning, and there were flowers everywhere. I think I may pick some for the Queen, said Paddington. I'm afraid that's against the law, said Mr Gruber. This is what is known as a royal park, and all the flowers belong to the Queen anyway. Besides, it would spoil it for others. If you like, I'll take a picture for your scrapbook instead. Fancy having a front garden as big as this, said Paddington. I wonder if she has to mow the lawn. Mr. Groover laughed, and then as they drew near to some large gates, he pointed towards the roof of the building behind them. We're in Luck's way, Mr. Brown, he said. There's a flag flying. That means the Queen is at home. Paddington peered through the railings and waved his own flag several times in case the Queen was watching. I think I saw someone at one of the windows, Mr. Groover, he called excitedly. Do you think it was the Queen? Who knows, said Mr. Gruber. We are outside Buckingham Palace, which is a very big place. Soon afterwards, they heard the sound of a band playing. The music got louder and louder, and there was a lot of shouting and the clump clump of marching feet. But by then, there were so many people, Paddington couldn't see a thing. Oh no. He's only a little bear. Mr. Gruber wondered whether he ought to suggest holding Paddington up to see, but in the end he bought him a periscope instead. If you look through the bottom end, he explained, you can see over the top of people's heads. Paddington tried it out, but all he could see were other people's faces, and he didn't think much of some of those. In the end he tried crawling through the legs of the crowd, but by the time he got to the other side, the band had passed by. Oh no, poor Paddington. Look, said a small boy pointing at Paddington. One of the soldiers has dropped his hat. It's what they call a busby, dear, said his mother. Paddington jumped to his feet. I'm not a busby, he cried. I'm a bear. Gradually the crowd melted away until there were only a few people left. Oh dear, said Mr Gruber. It's all over and I didn't even get a picture of you with one of the guardsmen. I didn't even see them, said Paddington sadly. Look, he's just too small a bear. Just then, a man in a bowler hat said something to a policeman by the gate and then pointed towards Paddington and Mr Gruber. The policeman beckoned to them. I have instructions to invite you inside so that you can take a proper photograph, he called. You're very honoured. Paddington's going to be able to go in. You don't just let anybody in. Paddington felt most important as he and Mr Gruber followed the policeman across the palace parade ground and the guard came to attention. I think, he said as he stood to attention while Mr Gruber took a photograph, this guard is so good he doesn't need changing. There he is. As they left the palace, Paddington stopped by the gates to wave his flag. Do you think it was the Queen looking out of the window when we first came, he asked. 
It was either the Queen, said Mr Gruber, or it's someone who likes bears very much. And he took one last picture of padding, the Paddington scrapbook. You must mark the window with a cross when you paste it in, just in case. And there he is, me at the palace. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this little short story and I will read you another one for tomorrow. Have a good weekend, guys. Bye.